uh, Thomas Spittler, and I'm the Vice Dean of our faculty, European Campus Hotel Inn, and I'm the study course coordinator of the bachelor program, Health Informatics on the one hand, and for the joint master, Global Public Health on the other side. So first of all, um, I want to give you some introduction of our faculty. So um, you see we are here in Germany. This is Europe, by the way, at the right hand side, and we are in Germany. And what you see in the white one, this is Bavaria, where we are located. And we are located at the, perhaps I can do it like this laser pointer. We are located here somewhere to the uh, to the border to Austria, near to the border of Austria and the Czech Republic, and not really far away from Munich. Yeah, we are a very interested university as we have a very high international students uh, uh, population. So we have 8,000 students and almost 30% of these students are international students from more than 100 different nations. And we are also have very uh, much partner universities, so approximately 200 partner universities in almost 60 countries around the globe, around the globe and around the world. And so we have a big exchange also with other universities. And this exchange is not only in research projects, it's also especially in um, teaching. And I will give you one or two examples here. Yeah, this is just a short impression of our campus. Um, this is our building here. Uh, we have a very new building, which is on the right-hand side with uh, great laboratories, as Professor Chatikian already mentioned, um, that we have here well-equipped laboratories, not only for the health and the digital health, but also for engineering, because in um, Bachelor of Health Informatics, you will want to combine engineering a little bit and informatics, of course, with the health domain uh, and also in uh, chemistry, for example, or in um, what was the uh, sustainability, uh, which is a very important part for us, especially when we think about global public health. Yeah, this is just an impression of the city, Pfarrkirchen. So, um, <laughs> It's a nice city, um, yeah, not so far away from Passau, which is a city with 50,000 inhabitants. And uh, next to Munich, I think Munich, um, many people know. Um, so it's, a one, it's the biggest city here in Bavaria. So, but first I want to introduce the health informatics, which is a Bachelor of Science. The Bachelor itself, has a duration of seven semester, which means 3.5 years. And the course language is 100% English. So everything is taught in English. But what would be very important for us is that you also learn German language. So it's also part of your curriculum to learn German language, with then, which then helps you um, to find better jobs here in the region and jobs here in Germany. So it will help you to learn language. And from my experience, language is the most important thing to, to be part of a country. So it's really a big challenge, a, a big chance for you to do that. In the first and second semester, um, we also want to do some online teaching. So in during the pandemic, we have uh, done many experiences in the online parts and in virtual teaching and we also want to do this um, to give you the opportunity to have the first and the second semester in a kind of online teaching so if you have problems with your visa for example um, because we realize that sometimes for students it will be hard to to get the visa especially now um, of the pandemic and sometimes you have a short delay and so that you have the chance to start uh, at, from the beginning, you want to offer it in, in virtual, but also in uh, presence. Um, you also have the possibility not going only straight forward through the curriculum, but you can also customize a little bit your study, pro your study program. 
because you have then some selected electives um, where you can choose. For example, one would be evidence-based medicine, which is uh, taught by Professor Chetikian, for example, or health data analytics, uh, which is taught by another colleague from me, and also telemedicine, for example. So you have different electives where you can choose. What is very important here in Germany is that you have that we have a bachelor program where you have a so called compulsory internship semester it's the fifth semester in our case, so which you're it's part of your program that you work in industry. So it's very good for you because then you can have a check if what you have learned until now is good enough for working in industry and on the other hand, it shows you um if the study program you have chosen is the correct one or the right one for you so it's really a big benefit here to have such kind of compulsory internship and the second the last one is of course you can have then good uh yeah, corporations with some companies uh where you can make your or where you can write your bachelor thesis or of course after your bachelor um you can start working as an employee and of course, when you have finished your health informatics bachelor program, then some consecutive qualifications could be the master digital health, which was presented by Professor Chetikian, or the joint master global public health I will present later. So what job opportunities do you have? Yeah, and with that program, you can work in medical technology and medical software manufacturers. You can uh, work in healthcare service branches like logistics, software development, consulting, also in the pharmaceutical industry, as you can see on the picture, but also in hospitals and rehabilitation facilities, health portals, health insurance companies, consulting firms, providers of IT services, providers of health applications, manufacturers of fitness gadgets, in association with authorities and many, many others. You see, with that study program, you have a big opportunity to work in industry later. Yeah, what will be taught in this program? So on the one hand, it will be taught uh, the, the data analytics and um, artificial, artificial intelligence. So how to work and how to go on or how to work with the, all the data we have. And what does it mean when we use artificial, artificial intelligence? Is it only a technological question or do we also have ethical questions and uh, legal questions here? On the other hand, you will also learn how to program, for example, an, an application, a web application, a website, how to design it, how to make a user experience website how to make how to combine or how to introduce um, your user group into your development of applications of software the next one is of course we have also talked about some legal stuff and ethical stuff uh, is it everything is is it fine can we do everything or do we have to think about some things here and last but not least these uh, this together always in the domain of the health so and not only in a medical background health could be also mean in prevention when we think about uh, sustainability for example uh, sustainable health care and we can also talk about buildings for example how can we deal with the buildings but on the other hand we can think about how to go on with prevention uh, which is a very very important thing here and how can we develop tools and software and hardware and services in order to help um, the people and i always tell my students we are now on the bridge from care to prevention and of course and this is only a short example and i'm a little bit proud of it of course um is we are also caring about the future and here we got funding of uh, 3.64 million euros uh for so-called flagship project met for pan um which is a project um how to improve the health care in a rural area like uh 
our region here where we have our campus and you as a student and uh, should be part of this research project so on the one hand side for example um, that we have it in courses as a part of the course or in bachelor thesis or to work in this project yeah? you can also earn some money here um, when you work with us on that research project and finally, I want to give you a short yeah, impression of what we can do. This is the rural area around Verkirchen. And yeah, let's see what we can do. And you see, we are also dealing with virtual reality by the way, also with augmented reality. So what we have done is we fly with a drone into our eyes. We have the virtual reality there, and then we come out through a virtual reality glasses. This is, for example, what we are doing here and what we want to teach you in Verkehrfen. So what do you have to do when you want to be part of our program? Then yeah, you need a general university entrance qualification, so which means at least 12 years of schooling. You need a certified English language skill, skill of level B2. We have here some um, tests defined which uh, we accept. And yeah, you should do a past online assessment test, which is a very easy one. So don't fear about that. The application process would be from in the time of the 15th of April until the 15th of July. And you can apply at www.th-dhc.de, en, and apply. And the starting date of our bachelor program would be the 1st of October. Yeah, to summarize, what does health informatics bachelor programs mean? Uh, means we have excellent quality here. We offer you an excellent quality, a modern teaching methods. We do not only have uh, teaching and telling you something we want to, we want that you are part of the teaching. So we, we tell you or teach you some different kinds of methods. Um, for example, the design thinking method we will to do and show you how to include you in the teaching and also some other parts as the, your user group into the teaching. We have state of the art laboratories and we do, are doing pioneering research. So thank you very much for the Bachelor of Health Informatics.